नमस्ते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु टेकिंग सन्यास सो इन दी लास्ट सेशन आई जस्ट वॉक यू थ्रू दिस लाइट सो वी सो अबाउट चैतन्य महाप्रभु स्टैंडर्ड पास टाइम्स सो इज मदर्स नेम वॉज सचि देवी इज फादर्स नेम वॉज जगन्नाथ मिश्रा वी परफॉर्म्ड अ लॉट ऑफ वंडरफुल पास टाइम्स सो ही वॉज अ वेरी ग्रेट डिवोटी एज वेल एज अ वेरी स्कॉलर So after he received initiation from Ishwar Puri, he became like he he became more ecstatic. Not he started preaching Krishna consciousness more vigorously. So that's when he started the Sankirtan full fledged. So he started he he is the one who gave us this mantra, which is the Hare Krishna mantra. So it is said that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is to say that my spiritual master. he considers me as a fool because he considers me as a fool he has told me to just chant this hare krishna mahamantra and not to study any vedas or any puranas or anything so do you really think chaitanya mahaprabhu was a fool yeah he was very learned he was a sanskrit scholar yeah at the age of 11 he started his own school he was teaching everyone Right. So he was very learned, but still he said that I am a fool. That's why his spiritual master asked me to chant this mantra. What? What would be the reason behind that? Maybe. So somebody may say, na, that this chanting of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is only for fools, not for intellectuals. Why do we have this statement? Then why is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying this that I am a fool. That's why my spiritual master has told me to chant this Hare Krishna mantra. आपने सुना होगा ना बाहर के लोग generally, especially when I came to Iskon for the first time, ये बहुत सारे लोगों ने बोला था अरे this Hare Krishna mantra is only for people those who don't have any work. इनको काम नहीं करना है, free में खाना है, लो कोई काम करना नहीं है उन लोग आके chanting karta hai that's what i was told and that is in fact a general misconception everyone but chaitanya mahaprabhu see he himself like he is such a of course he is krishna himself he is god himself but he came in the form of devotee and he was a vedic scholar born in a brahman family was very learned but still he said that i am a fool Okay. The reason behind that, this is because when Krishna incarnates as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is incarnating in the mood of his own devotee. So he is teaching everyone how to perform devotional service, how to be. Sorry. Okay, it's not shared. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, when he incarnates, he is he has come in the form of his own devotee. So he is showing what we as a devotee should. Do. So now what happened? So last time we discussed about a devotee named Tapan Mishra. So he started studying the Vedas. He read all the Vedas. He read all the Puranas. But the end result, what happened is after reading a lot. He became more confused. उनको ये भी नहीं पता चल रहा था कि क्या करना चाहिए भगवान कौन है ये भी नहीं ये भी उसमें भी कंफ्यूज हो गए वो पुराना सोचा के बिकॉज इन एवरी पुराना अपेरेंटली डिफरेंट थिंग्स आर गिवेन कहीं पे लिखा है कि लॉर्ड शिव इज द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ वॉटर कहीं पे लिखा है कि लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा इज द सुप्रीम कहीं पे लिखा है गणेश जी इज द सुप्रीम सो हु इज द सुप्रीम सो बाई जस्ट बाई रूडिंग रीडिंग द पुराना इज रैंडमली by our own intellect will not be able to understand so that is why 
in general in the age of kali like it is recommended that we should not read uh, vedas or puranas directly of course we should read them but at an advanced level not at the beginning so initially we are supposed to read uh, chant this hari krishna mahamantra so this mahamantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare this is the most powerful mantra in this entire creation because just by chanting this mantra again and again we can get all perfection so krishna has invested all his potencies in the holy name so it said that krishna is absolute so krishna's name is also absolute so i'll, I'll just give you an example say for example so my my, my name is varun okay so i am a different person and if you say the word varun it's different but in case of krishna that is not like that krishna's name is form his qualities everything is same he is absolute so when we chant this hare krishna maha mantra we are actually associating with krishna the krishna ka sang kar rahe hain we are talking with him we are associating with him so that is the beauty of his maha mantra that is why chaitanya mahaprabhu said that we should do sankirtan so he was representing representing all of us so when he said keep i am a fool what he meant to say is that we all are fools we are not intelligent enough to read the vedas or the other deep scriptures so we should all chant the hare krishna maha mantra so that we get the ultimate purpose of the vedas just by chanting so that is why he started chanting sankirtan so now chaitanya mahaprabhu was doing very well so he was a grihastha he was married he was doing very well he was doing bhakti he was a scholar he was earning also so if you see like everything was set so generally in today we have to consumption ki matlab sabko settle hona rehta hai paisa hona chahiye gaadi hona chahiye bungalow hona chahiye sab kuch hona chahiye to वैसे चैतन्य मापू को also in, if you go to the, those standards he was settled right quite, quite settled in fact he was earning well he was a teacher he had a beautiful wife unka ghar parivar sab sahi chal raha tha then why did he take sanyas all of a sudden so generally people think that sanyas वो लेते हैं जिनको बहुत दुख होता है या फिर उनके बहुत सारे हाउस होल्ड प्रॉब्लम होते हैं या फिर दे आर नॉट एबल टू एनीथिंग ब्रह्मचर्य फर्स्ट गृहस्थ वनाप्रस्थ एंड सन्यास सो अगर किसी का जीवन है हंड्रेड इयर्स का ठीक है तो फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स दे आर सपोज टू स्टे एज अ ब्रह्मचारी ब्रह्मचारी मीन्स अ स्टूडेंट सो दे आर सपोज टू लर्न ऑल द स्पिरिचुअल एंड द मटेरियल क्वालिटीज इन द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स एंड दे आर अपोज expected to maintain complete purity in terms of their conduct and their thoughts and everything so that is called brahmacharya after the brahmacharya period is over then they are allowed to enter grihastha ashram which is householder life with the permission of their spiritual master so typically grihastha ashram is also for 25 years so at the age of 50 one is supposed to retire because like uh, as per vedic standard like their children used to become independent by the age of 20 22 or something of course now things have changed now to matlab 30 saal ki umar mein koi settle nahi hota hai as well but uh, earlier by the time the eldest son would become 20 years like the parents they could retire so the next 25 years is vana prastha vana prastha matlab they would leave their home go to jungle or any forest or any holy place so both the husband and wife both both of them will go and they will uh, perform austerities they will go to different places year from uh, year from saintly devotees and all just to purify them and the last 75 years was complete sanyas in which one is supposed to cut off all the relations with everyone and devote 100% of his time to the supreme person of god that is how sanyas was approached earlier 
Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at this time he was just 24 years. So technically he was <laughs> like if you go by this standard, he was still supposed to be in Brahmacharya. But he was married. Again, it, it was not a very hard and fast to 25 ke party shadi karo. But it, it is how the life was divided. So he was married at the age of 24. And he was living a very comfortable life. He was preaching also. He was living Kirtan. So many people were coming, they were hearing from him, they were doing Kirtan, they were chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So it was a very very comfortable situation for him. So then what happened? So let's see that. What is the difference in Sanyasi and Vanaprastha? Sanyasi and Vanaprastha, one key difference is that uh, in Vanaprastha life, the husband is allowed to keep uh, like stay with his wife, yeah. of course not have any kind of relation with her, but stay with her. That is allowed. Once a person accepts sannyas, he cannot even associate with with his wife. So that is a difference. So who will take care of the wife? Son. The son. The son will take care. Do the area to clean the jungle? Either jungle, like uh, you can go to any holy place, Vrindavan, Haridwar. <laughs> Mathura, so a lot of holy places are there and go to holy places also. So that was a standard. So now coming back, so just to give a brief background about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's father, his name was Chaitanya Mishra and his mother's name was Sachirin. And he had an elder brother whose name was Vishwarup. So Vishwarup was also a very highly qualified devotee. So when uh, uh, so when Vishwaru, yeah, so when Vishwaru had reached the age of marriage, so his parents told him that now we'll get him married. But Vishwaru never had any intention to marry. So immediately he left home and he became sannyasi. So because he suddenly left, his parents became very unhappy. They, they cried a lot. So at that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had assured his parents that uh, no matter what I will take care of you, don't worry, my elder brother might have left the home, but I will take care of you. So that was promised to them. And in fact, his elder brother came to him in a dream also, and he was asking Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to join him. So if you can see this, this is the elder brother Vishwaru. So in a dream, he came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he was asking him, Did you also come and join this Chasanya Ashram? But he said that I have to look after my parents. So then his elder brother blessed him, he, okay, I'll bless you that you look after your parents their entire life. So that, that is what the, what the conversation happened. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had, had, had promised his parents that he would never take sannyas. Then why did he take? So let's look at that. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like whenever he was chanting or whenever he was discussing Purana, so, so who is this? Which incarnation of Lord is this? Narasimha. So whenever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would describe the leelas of certain avatars, like Narasimha Dev, he would become so much engrossed in the in those leelas that he would start imitating that avatar. So one day he was reading from the Srimad Bhagavatam, the part where Narasimha Leela is described, where Narasimha Dev comes out of the pillar and he kills Hiranyakashipu. So what happened is that as he was reading, he 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 started assuming the mood of Narasimha Dev, and he took up a stick and went outside. That I will kill all the demons. So then Lord Nityananda Prabhu somehow pacified him and told him that in this particular incarnation, your weapon is not any like sword or anything, but this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. By using this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, you are supposed to change the demons. So, so when, when you say killing a demon, like if you can kill the demonic mentality in a person, that is as good as killing the demon. And that is how this weapon of Hare Krishna Mahamantra needs to be used. So that is how it was calmed down. So then there were two brothers named Jagai and Madai. So even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had forgiven them. So these two brothers, they were drunkards, right? Like they used to drink. So there are four regulative principles which are to be followed by devotees. Anyone can name them? 
Yes, yes, Prabhu. Yes, so these are the four relative principles which every devotee is supposed to follow. The reason why we are supposed to follow these regulative principles is because otherwise what will happen is whatever progress we have made, that will be nullified. So I'll just give you an example. Say for example, you have a bucket, okay, and you want to collect water. And if it's raining, so what will you do? You will just keep the bucket and accept the rain. Okay, and gradually your bucket will get filled. But if I say that there are four holes at the bottom of the bucket, then will you be able to accumulate any water at all? Because bucket yeah. So, you can't get a little bit of 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 a we get the mercy of the deities, right? So we get a lot of mercy. We, we become pure. So of a little bit 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 and we become as we were before. So this happens because we have anarthas or we have faults. So these four regulative principles, that is no meat eating, no illicit sex, no gambling and no intoxication. These are like very big holes or very big like discharges. So if we don't follow that, then we get out of the Of course, there are other anarthas also, but not get into that right now. So that is the reason why we follow the four regulative principles. So Jagaya and Matai, so these two brothers, they were like expert in breaking the four regulative principles. The four regulative principles were expert in. They were Jagaya and Matai. So when Nityananda Prabhu approached them and asked them to chant the holy names, they instead of chanting, they threw a other pot which hurt Nityananda Prabhu. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu hurt, they see became angry. And immediately he came to kill both of them. So he invoked the Sudarshan Chakra, as you can see, like, like this. So because he's Krishna himself, he has the access to Sudarshan Chakra. But then Nityananda Prabhu again said that if you start killing people like Jagai and Mother, you will have to soon kill the entire world because almost everyone has become like Jagai and Mother. So instead, you can forgive him. So that is how he was forgiven. So now coming back to the incident, why the Lord took sannyas. So as, as you can see, like whenever the Lord used to hear something, like when he heard about Narasimha Dev or when he heard about Lord Ramchandra, he, he would become like them. So one day he was hearing about the glories of the gopis of Vrindavan. And he became so excited that he started chanting the names of the gopis. In fact, he became like a gopi. You can say like that. He gopi ke bhav mein aage. Aise karke wo gopi iska naam le rahe. So what happened is that tabhi hai na kuch ek, ek brahman aaye. The brahman ek ladka tha. Wo aaye. And he saw that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is chanting the name of gopis instead of chanting the name of Krishna. So he said to him, what are you doing? Why are you doing gopi's name? Why are Better you chant the name of the Lord, Hare Krishna Mahamantra Gata. So at that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was feeling himself like a gopi. So if you read the Krishna Leela in the book Krishna, you will find that Krishna would come in front of gopis and then suddenly he would go away. So he used to do that many times. Why he used to do that? Because whenever we have something, we do not realize the value of that. But when we are Tabi we realize the importance of that. So he wanted to make the gopis experience this, this feeling of separation from him. So he would come in front of the gopis and then he get, again he would go hiding. So at that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was experiencing this, this feeling of separation from Krishna. And when Krishna is away, like they were actually angry at him. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was also angry at Krishna. So he said, he gave some bad names to Krishna. He said, why are you telling me to chant the name of Krishna? Krishna 
is uh, like so he gave some bad and he and he like drove away the brahmana now this brahmana couldn't understand the mood of chaitanya mahaprabhu he didn't know that chaitanya mahaprabhu was actually enacting the mood of a gopi so he went and he started defaming chaitanya mahaprabhu he said that chaitanya mahaprabhu has become so uh, like so conceited itna matlab ahankari ho chuka hai ki wo bhagwan ka naam chhod ke gopi ka naam de और जब मैं जाके उनको करेक्ट करने जा रहा हूँ तो वो मुझे ही मार के भगा रहे सो हीज बिकम सो कंसीडेड मतलब इतना वो अहंकारी बन चुके सो ही वेंट एंड कंप्लेन टू एवरी वन ऑल दी ब्राह्मण एंड जनरली दिस ब्राह्मण ऑल वेरी यूनाइटेड सो उन्होंने सोचा रहे व्हाट इज अपने दिस निमा हीज बिकम सो प्राउड कि वो ब्राह्मण को भगा दे रहे दे कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड कि निमा ने क्यों भगा ही वॉज इन द मूड ऑफ द गोपी दैट्स वाई ही ड्रोव द and they were started protesting against chaitanya mahaprabhu they started calling him bad names now what happens is that whenever we talk bad about any devotee matlab jab bhi hum kisi devotee ka ninda karte to ye sabse bada aparadh mana jata hai se vaishna aparadh to of course there are different types of aparadhs but vaishna aparadh is supposed to be the most most sinful of all of them because agar vaishna aparadh karenge तो हमारा जो भक्ति है वो टोटली हट जाता है टोटली मतलब टोटली अप्रूव हो जाता है इट्स सच अ बिग अपराध सो दैट्स व्हाई डिवोटीज आर ऑलवेज सेड टू मेंटेन वेरी गुड रिलेशनशिप्स विद ईच अदर कभी मतलब एक दूसरे का निंदा नहीं करा इवन इफ देयर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग गोइंग ऑन वी शुड बेटर स्पीक विद देम डायरेक्टली रादर देन बैक बाइटिंग देम ऑन एनीथिंग सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीस पीपल आर क्रिटिसाइजिंग मी एंड दिस इज मेकिंग देम लाइक a lot of more sinful they are becoming so mai itna papi ho rahe ki unka uddhar karna bahut mushkil ho so then he thought ki maybe i should do something abhi right now because i am a grihastha these people are thinking that i am they are looking at me from an external point of view so unko lag raha hai ki ye ek brahman hai he should behave in such and such way or he should do things in such and such way tabhi wo mana jayega so let me do one thing let me take sanyas and again this decision the lord took because in those days there was a custom ki jab bhi ek sanyasi samne aate the immediately everyone used to bow down to the sanyasi and nobody would usually question a sanyasi ki why are you doing this or why are you doing that and why chaitanya mahaprabhu thought of taking sanyas is not because he was afraid ki matlab koi mujhe unko galat kahega waisa kuch nahi tha He, he he doesn't mind. He doesn't mind if any people talk ill about him. But what he was more concerned about was that if people talk ill about him, then they will get a lot of sinful reaction. Yeah. So he was so merciful. He was thinking for the people. ऐसा नहीं कि मतलब लोग उनको गलत कहेंगे उनको खराब लगता है. It's not like that. He was thinking about the people. कि अगर वो कुछ मुझे गलत कहते हैं तो they they will never be able to do bhakti. They will ne- never get the love for Krishna. so that is the reason why he thought of taking sanyas so he accepted sanyas so that he could bestow special mercy on all the people so that is the reason why he took sanyas so it is not because he wanted to run away from family life he was very comfortably placed it's it was not because he wanted a lot of fame or recognition प्रतिष्ठा नहीं चाहिए था या मान नहीं चाहिए था बट ही टूक सन्यास बिकॉज ही वॉन्टेड टू डू अ स्पेशल मर्सी ऑन ऑल दी डिवोटीज दैट इज वाई ही टूक सन्यास हाउ टूक सन्यास इफ ही टेक्स सन्यास देन ऑल दी डिवोटीज विल ऑटोमेटिकली बो डाउन टू हिम बिकॉज दैट इज द कस्टम एन एवर अ सन्यासी कम्स वी आर ऑल सपोज टू to a pranam like a dandavat pranam to a devotee and if people perform obeisances like they they give obeisances to chaitanya mahaprabhu automatically they will get a lot of benefit just by offering obeisances even if they don't listen to him even if they offer obeisances to chaitanya mahaprabhu they will get bhakti or the love for god so that is the reason why he took sanyas so that people are benefited not because he had any any reason as such to take sanyas 
so after taking sanyas immediately now so now whenever someone takes sanyas the, the rule is that you have to stay away from your family and everything so he was just 24 years old so after he took sanyas uh he started going to towards vrindavan vrindavan is the birthplace like not the birthplace but the where where krishna like eternally resides that is a place called vrindavan so he was he was going over there so now what, what happened is that other devotees they felt bad for his mother because he didn't even inform his mother that he was taking sanyas and he went out so the other devotees they made a plan at some other we have to make sure that chaitanya mahaprabhu meets his mother once because his mother is very much upset that he has taken sanyas so they made a plan so what happened is that as chaitanya mahaprabhu was going towards towards vrindavan like the devotees they also were accompanying them and they were like jaise aap kahi pe jaate ho na first time so you ask people ki kaun sa rasta hai the vrindavan jaane ka so kuch devotees ne na matlab aise hi matlab फेस ले लिया था कुछ नॉर्मल होगा एंड दे दे स्टार्टेड मिस गाइडिंग पीपल लाइक इंस्टेड ऑफ शोइंग द वे टू वृंदावन उन्होंने वापस मतलब नवदीप जाने का वे दिखाया सो लाइक दिस लाइक चैतन्य महाप्रभु ऑफ कोर्स चैतन्य महाप्रभु इन अ वे इज कृष्णा एंड शरीर ही नोस एवरीथिंग बट बिकॉज़ ही वाज एक्टिंग एज अ डिवोटी ही वाज एक्टिंग लाइक अ डिवोटी सो ही केम बैक टुवर्ड्स हिज होम नाउ इन वृंदावन देयर इज अ रिवर वेरी होली रिवर What is the name of them? Yamuna. And if you ever go to uh, Mayapur, so there is another river over there, Ganga. Yeah. So what happened is that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he was going towards Vrindavan and then he took a U-turn unknowingly and he was coming back. So as he was coming back, he came, he saw the river Ganga. But when he saw the river Ganga, he thought that this is Yamuna. So he started dancing and saying that he. we have come to yamuna so now it means that vrindavan is not very far away we have already reached vrindavan like uh, vrindavan so he asked nityananda prabhu is this yamuna so nityananda prabhu said yes this is yamuna so he said ki okay i will take path in yamuna and he went there he immediately dived into yamuna river like it, it was ganga actually but he thought that it is yamuna he dived over there he took a path and then a boat came he went on the uh, on that boat and went to the other, other side of the ganga so when he went to the other side he got down there he went to a place called shantipur so shantipur is a place where advaita acharya used to stay it's not very far from navadip or mayapur so when he went there and saw advaita acharya he thought that i have reached vrindavan and he asked in other advaita acharya how come you are here in vrindavan so advaita acharya said ki i am not in vrindavan i am in shantipur you have, you have come back to shantipur so now chaitanya mahaprabhu became really angry at this time you you are a liar you cheated me instead of taking me to vrindavan you brought it me back and when i asked you whether this is yamuna or not you said yeah this is yamuna and i took path over there so then nityananda prabhu replied in a very diplomatic way he said something can anyone guess what did he say so the lord wanted to go to vrindavan right so he said that wherever you are that place is vrindavan so i have not cheated you and if you see like even if you see geographically yamuna river is a tributary of ganga right and so in a way we can say that if you take bath in ganga we take bath in yamuna because it's the same water and chaitanya mahaprabhu had taken bath in that water so he didn't actually cheat him so he said that i didn't cheat you wherever you are that is vrindavan so i took you to vrindavan and you took bath in yamuna like yamuna is again a tributary of ganga is like both the waters are mixed together So even if we take bath in Ganga, it's as good as taking bath in Yamuna. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became passive. Okay, he said. So then Advaita Charya immediately called his mother Sachi Devi to have a last look at her son because his son was going away for sannyas. Right. 
so his mother came they had a very emotional meeting because this was the last meeting which her mother could have with her son and her like if you see the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu over here like chaitanya mahaprabhu in his grihastha life he had a very long beautiful hair but here he had completely shaved and he was wearing saffron clothes he was not wearing his usual attire which was yellow so seeing this his mother became very sad and she said that already my elder son he had taken sanyas now you have also taken so how will i survive so then chaitanya mahaprabhu said ki okay yeah i understand your problem but then some arrangement has to be made that uh, like this, uh, there has to be some kind of compromise that i will not leave navadeep and at the same time i can keep my sanyas vows so a sanyas is never not supposed to stay at his home but at the same time he felt bad for his mother so he want he never wanted to leave navadeep so he was thinking what should be done so then a devotee suggested that as per scripture like there is no difference between navadeep and jagannath puri right so it's better you go to jagannath puri and there is one more advantage of you going to jagannath puri is that a lot of bengali devotees like every year they go from bengal to jagannath puri and then they come back so your mother will keep on getting information your mother will keep on get, getting updates about you what you are doing or what you are not doing it's like that okay so better is ki you go to jagannath puri so that is what he agreed with his mother that i will go and stay in puri so if i stay in puri i will be able to keep my sanyas vows and at the same time you will be able to get keep getting updates about me at what i am doing how am i and everything so that is what they agreed on and then they had a feast at the house of advaita acharya because that was possibly the last feast which chaitanya mahaprabhu would have in navadeep so advaita acharya fed chaitanya mahaprabhu and nityananda prabhu with lot of dishes so we read the chaitanya charitra mein there are description given of all these dishes and after feeding like advaita acharya was very happy you can see over here So they then have to agree to stay in Puri as per the request of his mother. So now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started going towards Puri. Right. So as soon as he reached the Puri temple, so in Puri, so when you go and have darshan of those deities, Lord Jagannath, so it's like very massive deities, very beautiful deities there. So as soon as he saw the devotees, he fainted. He was like so much happy. I would say so much happy after seeing the devotee, like the the deity that he painted, and all the, all the devotees over there they would not understand it. Who is this unknown sannyasi who has come and suddenly has painted? So now, just आपने मतलब I am just asking you question. So you must have seen ना कि जब भी ऐसे कोई ऐसा generally मैंने देखा है कि ऐसा कभी देवी का पूजा होता है ना तो किसी को ऐसा मतलब possession हो जाता है. कि अचानक से कोई ऐसा ढोंगी लोग है ना लोगो से मतलब पैसा लेने के लिए ऐसे एक्टिंग करते है कि मैं बहुत बड़ा भक्त हूँ कि देवी खुद आ गई और मेरे थ्रू बोल रही है सो दैट आल्सो हैपेंस सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु व्हेन ही फेंटेड ओवर देयर लॉट ऑफ पीपल कंसीडर दैट ही इज अ ग्रेट डिवोटी बट एट दैट टाइम देयर वाज अ ग्रेट स्कॉलर ओवर देयर हिज नेम वाज सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य सो ही सॉ द सन्यासी अ यंग सन्यासी एंड ही हैड सम सस्पिशन कि क्या ये फेक तो नहीं है मतलब ऐसी एक्टिंग तो नहीं कर रहे लोगों को खाली दिखावा करने के लिए कि आई एम अ ग्रेट डिवोटी दैट्स व्हाई ही फेंटेड सो ही टेस्टेड हिम सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य ही कैरीड दैट बॉडी एंड ही टेस्टेड हिम लाइक लाइक अ साइंटिस्ट जैसे हम टेस्ट करते हैं कोई अगर सोने का ढोंग कर रहा है 
तो जो डॉक्टर होते हैं या फिर जो साइंटिस्ट होते हैं दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट ये ढोंग कर रहा है सच्ची में जो इस हो रहा है तो देर देर आर सर्टेन बॉडीली सिम्टम्स सिमिलरली व्हेन समबडी हैज फेंटेड सो देयर आर इफ द पर्सन हैज रियली फेंटेड देयर आर सर्टेन बॉडीली सिम्टम्स व्हिच आर वेरी विजिबल सो सर्वोपम भट्टाचार्य ही टेस्टेड चैतन्य महाप्रभु लाइक अ साइंटिस्ट लाइक ही प्लेस्ड अ कॉटन स्वैब ऑन हिज नोज सो हिज ब्रीथिंग पैटर्न एंड एवरीथिंग but at last he understood that this fainting is not a ordinary thing this is a this is a fainting which happened due to devotional ecstasy and he kept chaitanya mahaprabhu with him at his house so when chaitanya mahaprabhu regained his consciousness he understood that uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu has accepted the sanyas order he has come to puri Now, Sarvabhauma Bhattacharya at that time was almost like more than sixty years. He was quite experienced, and he actually he felt a lot of compassion towards Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because he was like his son only in terms of age, who was just twenty-four years, and he felt bad that this person has taken sannyas as a at a very young age. At a time, मतलब जिस टाइम पे मतलब मौज करने का टाइम है, उस टाइम पे उन्होंने सन्यास ले लिया. So he felt concerned, and उनको ऐसा लगा कि ऐसा ना हो कि ये मतलब बाद में गिर जाए फॉल डाउन हो जाए ऐसा ना हो जाए तो ही स्टार्टेड टीचिंग चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉट एवर इन यू अबाउट वेदास सो उन्होंने सोचा कि ठीक है दिस पर्सन हैज टेकन संज्ञा एट अ यंग एज बट लेट मी इंस्ट्रक्ट हिम लेट मी मेक हिम केपेबल राइट नाउ मे बी इज नॉट केपेबल सो ही स्टार्टेड इंस्ट्रक्टिंग चैतन्य महाप्रभु ऑन ऑल द वेदास एंड एवरीथिंग सो लाइक दिस फॉर सेवन डेज वॉज इंस्ट्रक्टिंग so at the end of 7 days he said ki i have been instructing you for 7 days continuously but you have not asked me even one question what is the reason behind like am i teaching so bad <laughs> you are not understanding anything or what is up so then chaitanya mahaprabhu said ki actually i have lot of questions can i ask you he said yes please go ahead So then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that when I read the scriptures directly, as in the Sanskrit verses directly, then I can understand what is written. ठीक है और अगर मैं संस्कृत में जो लिखा है वो पढ़ू तो मुझे समझ में आ रहा है लेकिन जब आप ये वर्ड्स को समझा रहे हो तो मैं कंफ्यूज हो जा रहा हूं बिकॉज मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि ये जो वर्सेस है ऑल दीज वर्सेस इन दगवत गीता श्रीमद भागवत हम दे आर लाइक दिस सन सूर्य की तरह है सूर्य की तरह चमक रहे हैं कोई भी अगर सूर्य को देखेगा तो वो पहचान जाएगा ये सूर्य बट योर एक्सप्लेनेशन इज लाइक अ क्लाउड मतलब सूर्य को ठक धक दे रहा है ऐसा लग रहा है यू आर एक्सप्लेनिंग थिंग्स इन सच अ वे दैट इट इज बिकमिंग अनक्लियर फॉर सो द रीजन व्हाई दिस इज हैपनिंग वाज बिकॉज़ सर्वभौम भट्टाचार्य वाज अ मायावादी सो मायावादी आर दोस पीपल वो जो considered the lord to be impersonal or nirakar and they keep on interpreting the verses of the vedas as per their knowledge or as per their uh, understand so in the gita if it's written that krishna says that just surrender unto me i will take care of you it's a very simple verse so a mayavadi when they will comment on the gita they will say no you don't have to surrender to krishna you have to surrender to the unborn eternal within krishna so then prabhupad says that there is krishna's body krishna krishna's name everything is absolute so there is no difference between krishna and krishna's body or his mind or whatever so mayavadis what they do is that they take a simple thing which is clearly stated in the vedas but they will give their own interpretation so these interpretations are like cloud so it will cover the sun and we will not be able to understand how the sun looks and everything so chaitanya mahaprabhu said that the entire explanation whatever you are giving it's like that it's like covering up the meaning of the actual verses so then sarva mahaprabhu wanted to of course he was doing that unknowingly not that he was doing this himself but he was he belonged to the mayavad school he had learned in that way so he was teaching so he said ki okay the, can you explain me the real meaning of these verses So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave such a beautiful explanation that Sarva Mahama Bhattacharya's all the doubts got clarified, and he immediately surrendered unto Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
he said that such kind of explanation cannot be given now by a normal living person koi sadharan person aisa de hi nahi sakta so i can understand that you are the supreme person of god and chetan mahaprabhu also revealed his power and he blessed sarvama vattacharya and he became a devotee from that point and onwards so that's how sarvama vattacharya resided to the lord uh i think online somebody has a question i was getting a peeping sound yes prabhu ji प्रभु जी मतलब जो प्रभु जी थे ये चैतन्य महाप्रभु जी जो थे ये राधा और कृष्ण के अवतार मतलब स्वरूप के अवतार थे क्या हाँ चैतन्य महाप्रभु जो है वो राधा और कृष्ण के कम्बाइंड फॉर्म है तो जब कृष्णा को ये जानना था कि तो कृष्णा सो वन डे वॉज लाइक सी राधा रानी जो है वो इतना अट्रैक्ट होती है उनकी तरफ वो कंटिन्यूसली सेवा करती है तो राधा रानी को क्या फीलिंग होता होगा मतलब उनकी सेवा करते कृष्णा वॉन्टेड टू एक्सपीरियंस दैट राइट इसके लिए उन्होंने अवतार लिया था चैतन्य महाप्रभु का जिसमें वो खुद उनका भक्त होके आए थे ताकि उन वो समझ पाए कि कैसे चल रहा है लाइक हाउ 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 ब्यूटीफुल कृष्णा इज यू वांटेड टू अंडरस्टैंड सो कृष्णा वन डे ही लुक्ड एट दिस इट अ मिरर ही सॉ दैट हु इज दिस ब्यूटीफुल पर्सन स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम सो इट सेड दैट कृष्णा हिमसेल्फ ही सो ब्यूटीफुल ही हैज सो मच अपीयरेंसेस इतना इतना सुंदर है वो कि वो खुद भी नहीं जानते वो कितना सुंदर है तो उनको समझना था कि वो कितना सुंदर है हाउ मच अट्रैक्टिव इज दैट इज व्हाई ही टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ चैतन्य मां एंड ही इज अ कंबाइंड अवतार मतलब दोनों राधा एंड कृष्णा के कंबाइंड अवतार इज चैतन्य महाप्रभु ही अपीयर्ड इन द मूड ऑफ राधा रानी राधा रानी के मूड में बॉन्ड होते हैं थैंक यू प्रभु जी यस प्रभु सो आज का सेशन इतना ही था इफ एनी वन हैज एनी क्वेश्चन और एनी कॉमेंट्स फील फ्री टू आस्क कोई बेसिक क्वेश्चन है तो